The development of eyeball can be considered to commence around day 22 when the embryo has eight pairs of somites and is around 2 mm in length. The eyeball and its related structures are derived from the following primordia, optic vesicle, an outgrowth from prosencephalon, a neuroectodermal structure, lens placode, a specialized area of surface ectoderm, and the surrounding surface ectoderm mesenchyme surrounding the optic vesicle, and visceral mesoderm of maxillary process. Before going into the development of individual structures, it will be helpful to understand the formation of optic vesicle, lens placode, optic cup and changes in the surrounding mesenchyme, which play a major role in the development of the eye and its related structures. The area of neural plate which forms the prosencephalon develops a linear thickened area on either side, which soon becomes depressed to form the optic sulcus. Meanwhile the neural plate gets converted into prosencephalic vesicle. As the optic sulcus deepens, the walls of the prosencephalon overlying the sulcus bulge out to form the optic vesicle. The proximal part of the optic vesicle becomes constricted and elongated to form the optic stalk. The optic vesicle grows laterally and comes in contact with the surface ectoderm. The surface ectoderm, overlying the optic vesicle becomes thickened to form the lens placode which sinks below the surface and is converted into the lens vesicle. It is soon separated from the surface ectoderm at 33rd day of gestation. The optic vesicle is converted into a double-layered optic cup. It appears from that this has happened because the developing lens has invaginated itself into the optic vesicle. In fact conversion of the optic vesicle to the optic cup is due to differential growth of the walls of the vesicle. The margins of optic cup grow over the upper and lateral sides of the lens to enclose it. However, such a growth does not take place over the inferior part of the lens, and therefore, the walls of the cup show deficiency in this part. This deficiency extends to some distance along the inferior surface of the optic stalk and is called the choroidal or fetal fissure. The developing neural tube from which central nervous system develops, is surrounded by mesenchyme, which subsequently condenses to form meninges. An extension of this mesenchyme also covers the optic vesicle. Later, this mesenchyme differentiates to form a superficial fibrous layer corresponding to dura and a deeper vascular layer corresponding to pia arachnoid. With the formation of optic cup, part of the inner vascular layer of mesenchyme is carried into the cup through the choroidal fissure. With the closure of this fissure, the portion of mesenchyme which has made its way into the eye is cut off from the surrounding mesenchyme and gives rise to the hyaloid system of the vessels. The fibrous layer of mesenchyme surrounding the anterior part of optic cup forms the cornea. The corresponding vascular layer of mesenchyme becomes the iridopupillary membrane, which in the peripheral region attaches to the anterior part of the optic cup to form the iris. The central part of this lamina is pupillary membrane which also forms the tunica vasculosa lentis. In the posterior part of optic cup the surrounding fibrous mesenchyme forms sclera and extraocular muscles, while the vascular layer forms the choroid and ciliary body. Retina is developed from the two walls of the optic cup, namely, a nervous retina from the inner wall, and b pigment epithelium from the outer wall. A nervous retina. The inner wall of the optic cup is a single-layered epithelium. It divides into several layers of cells which differentiate into the following three layers as also occurs in neural tube matrix cell layer. Cells of this layer form the rods and cones. Mantle layer cells of this layer form the bipolar cells, ganglion cells, other neurons of retina and the supporting tissue. Marginal layer. This layer forms the ganglion cells, axons of which form the nerve fiber layer. B. Outer pigment epithelial layer. Cells of the outer wall of the optic cup become pigmented. Its posterior part forms the pigmented epithelium of retina and the anterior part continues forward in ciliary body and iris as their anterior pigmented epithelium. Optic nerve it develops in the framework of optic stock as below, fibers from the nerve fiber layer of retina grow into optic stock by passing through the choroidal fissure and form the optic nerve fibers. The neuroectodermal cells forming the walls of optic stock develop into glial system of the nerve the fibrous septa of the optic nerve are developed from the vascular layer of mesenchyme which invades the nerve at third fetal month sheaths of optic nerve are formed from the layers of mesenchyme like meninges of other parts of central nervous system myelination of nerve fibers takes place from brain distally and reaches the lamina cribrosa just before birth and stops there in some cases this extends up to around the optic disc and presents as congenital opaque nerve fibers these develop after birth. 